In this video, I'm showing you how to fix lag in Free Fire on Bluestacks. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And let's go and jump straight into these methods. For the first method, we need to go and start in the Bluestack settings. So what you need to do is go to the bottom right of Bluestacks and go and tap on settings with the gear icon just like so, and go and tap on performance. And I'll show you all of the best settings you need to select. So the next thing you need to do is actually go and open up your task manager. So to do that, you can do control, alt, delete and open it there. Or you can just go and tap on this search button and go and type in task manager, just like so. Here it is, go and tap on it and it should now open up. And then what you need to do is go and tap on performance, just like so. Now, as you can see here, you want to go and tap on CPU and you want to come down to the bottom right and it's going to tell you how many cores you've got. As you can see, I've got six cores. So what I personally recommend is not to sort of go over half cores um, just because you may be using too much power. Um, so what you want to do is make sure you go and select one of these here. If you can't get half your cores with these top three options, then go and tap on custom and then you can go and tap on three. I use three because I've got a total of six cores, so half of that is three. When it comes to RAM, this is memory allocation, you want to come back to your task manager and come to memory. As you can see, I've got 16 gigabytes, so I could use up to eight, um, but I just use four and because that's a high setting anyway. So anyways, what I recommend here is using half of your RAM. So if you've got a total of four gigs of RAM and it says four in your task manager, then I recommend using two gigabytes. If you've got six, then go and use three gigabytes, you know, half it once again. For performance mode, of course, make sure that is high performance uh, because that is what you want performance at the end of the day. When it comes to frame rate, this is on 60 for me and this is because of these settings I have down here. I personally keep these all off because running at 60 FPS creates a super smooth experience anyway, so I don't bother going any higher. Um, and these other two I leave off as well. Now let's come back to the left hand side and go and tap on display. Now what I recommend doing with your display resolution is if you're experiencing lag and you've got 1080p currently selected, it's definitely worth trying 720p. Of course, it's gonna be a little bit um, less on the quality side of things, but for performance side, it's definitely better because the quality will be lower, but your performance will increase. So definitely worth trying 720p. As always with any of these settings, if you don't like how you've changed them, you can always go and change them again. Then come once again down to graphics on this left hand side menu here. And what you want to do is make sure performance is selected. And for the graphics renderer, you want OpenGL to be selected. Then come down to the bottom and make sure you're using your GPU if you've got one. As you can see, it says preferred dedicated GPU. Tap on that there. Otherwise, we're trying to use your processor and you want to be making sure you're using your GPU. And then, of course, make sure you go and tap on save changes. And I'm pretty sure you'll need to go and restart BlueStacks for the changes to be put in place. Now let's go and get to this next method and for that we need to go and open up your task manager once again. So if you close it just go and type it in the search box once again and here we are. Then what you want to do is come to processes and wait for it to load and you need to go and look for blue stacks. And what you want to do is click on it then right click on it and you need to go and tap on go to details. So this is going to take you to your details tab and it's going to go and take you straight to blue stacks which is called hd-player.exe. Then what you want to do is right click on it just like so and go and tap on set priority and then we've got a few different options. Now, whatever you do, do not touch real time. That can just really mess up your computer. And what priority actually means is that if we go and set it on above normal or high, which are the two I'd recommend using, it's gonna go and give um, BlueStack priority over everything else on your computer, all other applications, um, so forth. That's gonna be things like CPU, memory, and your network, it's gonna have priority. So I recommend just doing above normal or high. You only need to use high if you've got other applications set to above normal, which is quite unlikely. Anyways, go and click on change priority, and now it's gonna be getting more priority, and you can come and close off of your task manager, just like so. And for this next setting, once again, you need to come down to the search box, and what you need to do is type in graphics settings, just like so or performance graphic settings if you're on Windows 10, but um, graphic settings should get you there. Tap on this here and your settings are gonna go and open up and here we are. So what you want to do is come down to this list here and you need to go and look for blue stacks. If you can't see it, you can go and search for it. And if after search for it, you still can't see it, then what you need to do is go and add it here. So you can go and click browse and you can go and find blue stacks. But what you want to do is go and tap on it and then go and tap on options. And I recommend setting it to high performance. If it's not something like power saving, that's why you're sort of experiencing lag because you're saving power um, and lowering performance due to that. So definitely have high performance selected um, and go and save it. And there we go, that should drastically improve your experience of playing Free Fire. If it's still laggy, then it may be worth trying to upgrade your computer. I know that's not always possible, um, but that may be the case. So there we go, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.